Hi, welcome to this new video where I will show you what happens when you use the watermark in Windows in structured streaming. In my demo, I will use a very simple example based on Apache Kafka source. And as you can see, I will read the topic which is called Windows watermark. And I will consume the schema composed of these two fields. Later on, I will just select the, these fields convert them into the structure and use event time as my watermark and base for the window interval and I will also use the count column to my stateful aggregation and I will display everything on the console. And the idea is to show you that we can have some bad quite bad assumptions about the watermark apply it on the window based processing in structures streaming. I will not detail very much internals. So I will not discuss a, a lot of internals in this video. To discover them, I invite you to the article which is linked in the description of this video. And here I will just demonstrate to you the points that I'm discussing in this specific blog post. So first I will start the Docker, uh, I will start the Kafka broker from Docker Compose. So just some cleanup before it helps to avoid some issues during the running when you can have, for instance, stale data. And okay, it's starting and now I will create the topics and initialize the producer I'm using. Is it broker list? Ah, sorry, I, I made a typo. Okay, so now I can start the processing. And later I will ingest some data to the topic. So as you can see, the watermark will be of 25 minutes and I will work on the windows of 10 minutes. So I will start by adding some rows. Okay, I will add another one. And another one. So as you can see, so far we have two different windows, one from 10 to 20 and one for 20 to 30. And the watermark Let's take a look at our data. So the watermark will be taken from this record and it will be 0101. I will try to find that on the logs. Yes, as you can see, it's in UTC, UTC time at 11, one. Okay, so now I will include, so I will produce an event which is behind this watermark. So as you can see, it's lower, the timestamp is lower than one zero one. And despite that, you can see that the event is included. So that's the first strange observation that I will try to explain in the blog post. So I will now move the watermark forward with this event. As, as you can see, the watermark will be at 125. So is it correctly included? Yes. And now I will also try to add a record uh, which is late, 
so which is behind the watermark and which is which is destined to to previously existing window so because the record i i searched it previously so this one sorry this one it was addressed to a non-existing window so uh, a participant created it and now i will try to address a record for an existing window but with the record which is behind the watermark and as you can see the window is still there and the watermark uh, and the data was included and that's the second point i will try to investigate in the article so now i will move the watermark once again this time the watermark will be at 35 which obviously means that this window from 20 to 30 should disappear and i shouldn't be able to ingest late events to it so i will now try to add an event for uh, 120 Eight, with a pretty big number to see whether it was included or not and as you can see the last event I had was the event for the window from 0 to 10 for 2 o'clock which corresponds to this record and you, you will not see this one in the results because the window was discarded due to the moving watermark so as i said many times in this video i put some much more details about this behavior in the article which is linked in the description of this video it was bartosz konieczny from waitingforcode.com thanks for watching